Hey there, fellas. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Elite Pad 1000 G2 BIOS. Uh, I wasn't able to find an overview myself, so figured I'd share once I got it. So basically, to enter the BIOS without a keyboard, you press the volume down key and the power key simultaneously. You keep holding down the, the volume down key after you've hit the power key. And you'll see it goes to BIOS. Well, it goes to a startup screen. So you've got the options. System information, system diagnostics, boot options, BIOS setup, HP recovery, network boot if you have it enabled, and continue startup. So we're going to go ahead and go to BIOS setup. I have a password set. You see the keyboard comes up. It's uh, it's a little slow to actually display it, but it is responsive, so you don't have to worry about you know pressing one key and then the other. You can just type it. I'm gonna pause the video for a second while I type mine. Okay, so once you're in the BIOS, you have the option to review your system information. It shows you a good deal of information there. Basic stuff you need. Gives you the option to restore, uh, sorry, restore defaults, reset BIOS security to factory default, nor changes in exit, same changes as exit. Those are the last two uh, options you'll generally want to wait until you're done configuring. Uh, there's an escape button, so you can escape out. That's just on just about every screen. That's how you go back. There's security section where you can set up your password. You can configure the TPM and set it back to factory defaults. Uh, you can not change the system IDs actually through this, but you can view them if your organization has set them. Password policy for the BIOS, you can set your own password policy or someone can configure it. Utility is secure erase, erases everything on the hard drive. So if you go to advanced, you're able to set the language of your BIOS, set the system date and time, configure boot options. I haven't tried custom logo, but I imagine if you have the right software or the right file in the right place, um, you could get rid of the HP logo. So, USB device boot, SD card boot, Pixie Ethernet boot. We've got the boot options right here. You can change them up and down if you'd like to, just like that. Uh, Express boot pop-up delay, I believe, and I haven't tested this is the prompt that comes up and says hold uh, volume key or press I think it's F9 for recovery or something like that. Either way, it's a prompt that comes up really really quick and lets you know how to boot into BIOS. Um, I believe this lets it stay up longer, but don't quote me. Secure boot, enabled or disabled. If you disable it, you're able to change the options below so you can clear the factory boot keys, which I don't want to do at this time. Go back, device configurations, you can turn on data execution, multi-core CPU, or virtualization technology. When I got this, it was off, uh, this last option, virtualization technology, and you do need that on if you're going to be running programs like VirtualBox or uh, VMware, which honestly, you're not going to get a whole lot of usage out of um, unless you're running really small operating systems. This, this device only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, device options, you can enable or disable various devices. And that's really about it. So once you've configured those, you know you would go save changes and exit, confirm, and then it would boot into your normal operating system. Hope you enjoyed.